So what's your goal? What is that goal that you wanted to hit but just never felt like you could? I started speed skating when I was five years old. Woke up that morning, July 4th, to crime scene tape all over my backyard. If you haven't noticed, summer is finally here. Some of you guys have asked, why raise buffalo? Well, it was July 4th, I believe it was 2012. Woke up that morning, July 4th, to crime scene tape all over my backyard, and a guy who was high on drugs and drunk had fallen off of a balcony and ended up passing away in my backyard. I was about 23 years old with a brand new family and I knew something needed to change. I knew that I had to get my family out of the city and that's where it really started. My grandparents had a farm up in North Missouri that I grew up going up to. I knew that that was what I wanted to get back to. I was raised in the city, but I knew that that's really where my heart was. So that began the process of wanting to find out what I could do out in the country that would be sustainable that I could get my family out of the city. I'll tell you what, all of these broken insulators are all over the field. It's kind of becoming a little bit of a nightmare. I'm having to go through and just replace um, just gobs and gobs of them. Anything that has a high spot and low spot, I'm having to replace them. These are the brand new ones that I put in just a couple months ago. Um, really disappointed in the company that I bought these from. I knew that I could find another house in the city that didn't have the problems that we had in our neighborhood. There were better areas in the city, I understood that. But I really felt like I wanted to get back to the roots of how I grew up going out to the country to see my grandparents. It was something that really resonated with me as a kid and I wanted my kids to experience that. Started thumbing through books and found that over 60% of all the bison out there are actually ranched. That completely blew my mind. I didn't think that that was possible. Um, I didn't even know that you could ranch bison. Uh, I th always, always thought they were cool, but I didn't know that I could be involved with these animals. That's what really started the journey. That's what started the thought process. I knew I wanted to get out to the country, but I wasn't too uh, enthused about doing traditional agriculture, honestly. I didn't know how to get into it. Um, I wasn't a fan of it, honestly. And um, bison just excited me. It was fun. But you know what? Guess what the reactions were? The first reactions when I said, I think I want to raise buffalo. What do you think people said? Unfortunately, I got a lot of opposition to it. Yes, there were some people that said, that's cool, you know, how are you gonna do that? But most people said, you can't do that. You can't raise an animal that is essentially wild. They're gonna get out, they're gonna bust through corrals, they're gonna jump fences. Um, it's just not possible. So what do you think I did? I said, I am absolutely gonna raise buffalo. Why? Because everybody said it couldn't be done. And that is something inside of me that I have had for a long time, that if somebody tells me I can't do it, if it's a challenge that it can't be done, and I think I can, I'm gonna push really hard and actually get it done. I get it though. It's hard to have a goal and a dream and have people not support you. I understand how um, you just want something so bad but yet you don't feel the support that you need is around you. To that I say, push harder. I knew this was the right decision. I knew I wanted to get my family into the country and I knew that I wanted to raise these majestic animals. Um, but I didn't know how to do it. So what did I do? I pushed and pushed until I found a way. I ran across the NBA 
which offered online courses. I immediately enrolled in online courses, went through both online courses and tried to figure out the next step of how do I get land? How do I get these animals? How do I make this happen? Some people might think that I had it handed to me. Um, and honestly, we were blessed with our first property. I will not be a liar and say that we weren't blessed with that. We had uh, my wife's uncle who helped us out on our first farm. Uh, he didn't give it to us, but he gave it to us at a really reasonable price. Uh, and it was a lot lower than the market value. That really, really helped. But that wasn't the determining factor of making this happen. I was gonna make it happen no matter what. Um, that happened to come into our lap and we were thrilled that happened and it did accelerate the process by a year or two. But I was gonna get out into the country, I was gonna raise these animals no matter what. So here's a little fun fact about me. Um, I started speed skating when I was five years old. I started uh, going to uh, sessions with my family when I was a kid and uh, there was an advertisement on how to speed skate. So my mom thought it might be fun. She enrolled my brother and me. We started when I was five years old. My brother was 10 years old. And um, I'm not ashamed to say, I actually got pretty good. Um, got to be, like my peak was when I was really young. Um, when I was about 10 years old was uh, my peak and I kind of lost interest and ended up getting out of it. Um, went to regionals, went to nationals, won a bunch of trophies, things like that. Um, but I think there was something in that that instilled a competitive spirit in me. Uh, there was this kid who was name was Tucker and he was the world champion at the time uh, in my class and I was nine or ten years old and he held the record for the uh, fastest time in our age bracket. And I always had my sights on him. I always thought that I could beat Tucker. I remember competing against Tucker in the nationals. I believe I got fourth place. He got first place and it really ate me up. Uh, we ended up being at a meet one time and uh, I started leading the pack. Well, I started leading the pack and we got close down to the wire. It was the last half lap and I just remember that I was leading Tucker, the world's fastest in our age bracket. And I was gonna win that race, that meet. Um, and a pylon got kicked out. Well, in the rules of speed skating, when a pylon gets kicked out, you can go on the inside. When it's not kicked out, if you go on the inside of a pylon, then you get disqualified from the race. Well, my young and inexperienced mind that pylon got kicked out and i couldn't register fast enough to go on the inside of the pylon i thought uh that i was going to get disqualified so i went on the outside of the pylon and tucker went on the inside of the pylon because it got kicked out and he passed me uh right at the last minute and won the race uh to provide insult to injury they mixed up my trophy and I got third place uh, out on the podium. So they put me on the podium at third place. I ended up actually being second to Tucker, um, but I remember holding that third place trophy and having Tucker right beside me and then the second place on the other side. And I was so irritated with myself. I knew that I should have been in the spot right beside me. I knew that I could have beat him and I did beat him essentially if it wasn't for that split second decision that I made wrong. You know, the funny thing is I am 34 years old and that still bothers me. It still bothers me that I didn't beat Tucker. <laughs> you know, we were kids and who knows where Tucker is today. Um, maybe he's watching this video, who knows, but it really, um, helped me 
through life. It helped me realize that if I set my sights on something, I could achieve it. Um, and unfortunately, I didn't pursue speed skating. I should have. Uh, I think I had what it took to actually move to ice and go to the Olympics, but I never did. Um, but I really had regrets that I didn't push harder. And so I really learned from that and I realized that, you know, if I want to accomplish something, just do it. Don't stop. Don't relent until it's in your grasp. I am very lucky and grateful to be where I am at. Uh, don't get me wrong, but I want to encourage you that if you have a goal, I'm not necessarily talking about raising bison, but if it's moving out to the country, if it's raising horses, it's, if it's whatever, do it. If you want something bad enough, you can get it. You can attain it. The journey that I have started is just beginning. Yes, we do have bison. We had bison on our last farm. We had to sell that farm, unfortunately, and start over. But we started over again, and we do have bison. But that's not the end goal. The end goal is to be sustainable on our ranch. The end goal is to actually have enough buffalo or bison to support the ranch. I'm still chasing my tucker. I am still chasing my goal. I haven't attained it yet. But I think your goal is it within grasp, just like mine is. I think that if you really set your sights to it, you can make it. And I know you will. I look out over the field every night and see the sun setting and realize that if you push hard enough, your goals are a reality. Your goals can happen, but you just gotta figure out a plan and you've gotta push hard enough. There's an old saying, without a plan, you plan to fail. I used to hate goals. I used to hate being able to put a goal up and get disappointed. I hate disappointment. The problem was I didn't understand that without a plan, goals never happen. Because you can have a goal with no plan and it's rarely achieved. Yes, I am lucky. But there's an old saying that goes, the harder I work, the luckier I get. So what's your goal? What is that goal that you wanted to hit, but just never felt like you could? Go for it. Don't relent until you've achieved it. You know, when I decided that this is what I wanted to do, if I couldn't make it happen, I was not gonna stop until it happened. And if it never happened, I wasn't gonna stop. I am lucky and grateful to be here, but I'll tell you, it didn't come without hard work. But I'll tell you it's something else is it was worth every minute of it. I appreciate you guys listening to me. I hope that this encourages you guys to just push after any goal that you have and you've hesitated towards. So please don't forget your goals, um, push at them, and you can get there, I promise you. Write out a plan and just start chipping away. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Noah Gordon. We are raising the North American Bison or Buffalo. Subscribe if you haven't already to follow our journey. Hit that like button and we will see you next time.